Okay, I'm logged into the website that I want to edit, and there are three ways that I can create a new page. Over here on the left hand side, if I hover over the word pages, I see a pop up and it includes all pages and add new, and I would click on add new. Another way to get in there is to click on pages. It will show you a list of your pages, and now there is a drop down menu on the sidebar that has all pages and add new along with the other items. And I can click on add new there, and I'll create a new page. The third way is if you are looking at an existing page, which I'm going to pop back over here and click on one of the existing pages. There's an add new button that shows up here, and it's also available from the list of pages. Add new right here, and either one of those will get you a new page where you can start from scratch. On the add new page, page. I want to give you a little tour here. Up at the top it prompts you to enter a title here. That will be the name of the page that will appear on the page. It will also appear in the list of all the pages. Below that you're going to see a large editing panel for putting in your text or other content. Below that you may see some other items such as Yoast SEO. This helps with our search engine optimization, but we're going to skip that for now. Below that you're going to see a variety of items with descriptions about what they do and what their requirements are. And you may see add content down here. We'll discuss that in a future tutorial and some selections for a horizontal menu, essentials menu, and tool menus. On the right hand side, we have a publish box here, page attributes, and a few other details. These panels on the right hand side and on the left as well, they have a little triangle on the top right corner, and that triangle is to toggle open and close. So if I click on that, my publish panel closes and can reopen. So if you ever see it, it's just a white bar and you don't know where the panel went, just click on the triangle and that should pop open. Same thing for this one, for example. And on the top right area, you'll see something that says screen options. If you click on that, you'll get a whole panel that will drop open and allow you to kind of change how the page looks. If there are certain things that you'll never use and you just don't want them to appear, you can uncheck them such as those, and I can close that back up, and now those panels are gone, and so is the yes, uh, Yoast SEO. So here's where I'd create my page name, here's where I'd create my page content, and then I would click Publish. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to make a little page here about rabbits. And I have a text file that holds the text content that I want for the page. I'm going to bring that open here. When I'm working on a WordPress page, I prefer not to bring in already formatted content, text content. I like to have it just plain text and then I'll format it in WordPress. This means that I'm not introducing some weird code from Outlook or from Microsoft Word or from a website. I can just use plain text. And so I'm going to select all this text here and copy it. That is Control C on the PC and Command C on the Macintosh to copy. You could also do Control A for select all on the PC or Command A on the Mac. And I'm going to click inside of this big text box here and paste and there my text looks a little bit nicer than it did there in the text editor. And now I can publish. I'm clicking on publish here, but if you recall from my prior tutorial that there is a button up here in the toolbar as well that says publish. Either one of those will work. I can tell that it's working. If I look up at the tab and I see that little quarter circle kind of spinning around there, that tells me it's still working. And once it stops, 
and the page reloads, then it is published. I can scroll back up here and I can see, oh, it's changed from published to update. So it is published. I can also see here on the published panel, status published, visibility public, when it was published, etc. To actually view the page now, there is a text link up here near the top. And if you recall from my last video, I like to right click and open link in new tab. And then I'll click on that tab and I can see the text that I entered. We'll talk about sidebars in a future tutorial as well. There's all the text that I entered. You may notice some interesting things here that the default template in WordPress takes the first paragraph and gives it a special styling. It's kind of a magazine style to attract the eye. We don't want all the text on the page to be super large like this, but it is kind of nice to have the first paragraph be large. And we will take a look in the future at formatting this text. But for right now, I just wanted to show you how to make a new page. And there you go.